Hey everybody, how's it going? Linda here, Zwifting with Granny, and ACB is just walking out of the room right now because he thinks I'm insane. Hello. Hey everybody, how's it going? Linda here, Zwifting with Granny, and ACB, who is exhausted from taking care of me, so he has today off. Uh, yes, I've been AWOL for a while, and I will explain why, but first, hello, Mrs. Weedekind. Hope you've been doing well. Hope Kevin's been doing well. Uh, ow! I will, uh, be back racing shortly, hopefully, as soon as I can, and I will explain why I have been AWOL. I went up to visit a friend in Massachusetts, uh, May, uh, April 18th. I came back on the 28th. For the next three days, I was running around getting ready for yesterday, which was my knee replacement. So I had the knee done yesterday. It was a robotic surgery, which means basically it's less invasive. So therefore it heals quicker and it is not as painful. Now I've heard people who have had knee replacements, they're telling me, oh, first two weeks are gonna be horrible. Well, I don't think they had robotic surgeries. Granted, I have this thing where I heal quickly. I don't know what it is. I'm just grateful I have it. Yesterday, after the surgery, <clears throat> after I came out of the anesthesia, I was walking around as soon as I could feel my legs. When I woke up, I thought that I was uh, paralyzed because they had given me a pain block in my spine, which numbs everything from the waist down. So once I was able to feel things and I could wiggle my feet and lift my legs, and apparently I was able to do that quicker than usual, which they were a little surprised at. I was up and walking down the hall and I was telling these people that I'm gonna ride my bike tonight. The doctor said I could. And my friend Dana, who came with me, you know, was like, okay, take it easy. And the two nurses that were there said, I don't think so. But I'm walking down the hallway and who's there but the surgeon? I said, Dr. Orozco, didn't you say that I could ride my bike tonight? And he said, yes, you can ride your bike tonight. Now he knows that I've ridden very, uh, much unswift. The, the surgery was over around 11.30 and I think I was home at 3.30 and I was on the bike by 6.30. I, you know, I just took it easy. I didn't push it at all. As a matter of fact, uh, I maxed out at 9 miles an hour and right now I'm doing 10 or 11 and it really isn't hurting me at all. What does hurt is my inside thigh muscle, the adductor muscle, for some reason. I think that's where they tie a tourniquet or they do something. And right now what I'm doing is I'm not clipped in. I am just, I have my sneakers on. They're on my pedals, but I have my heel on the right foot on the pedal so that on the upstroke, it's giving me as much leeway as it can without me bending it too much and hurting anything. The knee itself doesn't hurt a bit. I think there's still, you know, I still feel a little numbness, which I'm grateful for. I guess that's why the knee doesn't hurt. I'd rather have a muscle pain than a bone pain. So that's basically what I've been doing. I uh, was away and now I'm riding my bike. And I'm just grateful to be able to ride the bike day after knee surgery. I said, that, that's the day of knee surgery even. I said, it's pretty good. So what I'm going to be doing for videos for a while is just doing other kind of videos like my setup, a day in the life of Granny, stuff like that. If you guys have anything you want to see, please post it in the comments. Let me know if there's anything that you would think would be interesting for me to film for you until I can get going again, which is going to be a while because when this leg is done, the other leg is going to get done. And the, the odd thing is in the instructions, it says, when the bandage gets bloody, yada, 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 change it. 
there's zero blood. Zero on this bandage. Nothing. So, I'm good with that. I'm fine with that. So anyway, I will keep everybody updated. I want to thank everybody for checking in with me. You guys checked in with me from Facebook, uh, YouTube, Instagram, uh, to see if I was okay. And I really appreciate that. Like I, I say it all the time, I have the best followers and subs in all of YouTube. I really do. And uh, you guys are great. So, here I am, riding my bike, which is the lifeblood of my life. <laughs> and uh, I will talk to you soon. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Take care.